What was the most surprising story about the passage of the Affordable Care Act uh, that came out of your reporting, besides my angry memos? That, anyone who knows you knows that's not surprising. <laughs> Um, the, well, the most counterintuitive thing, if you're just sort of, you know, you're from outside Washington and you sort of subscribe to the cliche, and again, this comes under the category of not everything is black and white, is <clears throat> the staff people who I talked to um, who did so much to write this law on the Republican side and on the Democratic side. Well, the I Republican wrote that law. I found, well, I assure you. a lot of people on Senator Grassley's staff had a lot to do with some of the really good provisions in that law, and you know it, including uh, the debt collection provisions. But let's leave that aside. My point is that you know, the, um, you know, the revolving door image of Washington where staffers, you know, you know, they work on the Hill and then they go lobby, and then they go back to the Hill, and lobbying is an evil thing, and they're evil if they go do that. The people who... Um, worked day and night on this bill um, on Capitol Hill and in the White House, including you, um, really worked on something because they cared about it, they were honest, and they did good work. It's the best work they could do under the constraints of the system I've described. But So that was a bit counterintuitive. What uh, was also surprising to me was that um, you could have so many smart people on a staff in the White House, and ultimately they were just so incompetent when it came to governing. They were, you know, they were visionaries when it came to policy. But, and I'm not just talking about the website, which is obvious. And you know, you were one of the people who warned them early on from your staff position. You got to bring someone in from the inside. This is the most complicated from outside. Uh, yeah, from the outside. This is the most complicated e-commerce uh, effort ever undertaken. Um, and they just weren't into governing. I, you, know, it's, you know, it's almost as if the nuts and bolts of governing you know, were just, were just uh, below their pay grade. And that's really surprising. Because you know, I tend to be, I'm an Ivy League kind of snob, so I just figure anyone who went to Yale or Harvard, especially Yale, must be really <laughs> smart. And these people, when it came to the nuts and bolts of implementing a law, were just uh, clueless.